What's up guys? It's Will. Hope you're having a great day. Let's get into the video. Alright guys, what's up? So you saw in the last video I picked up a new aerator. It's actually the same day. I just filmed the last video, but I'm going to do this anyway because I've got it out. Um, so, want to give you an overview of the new Lawn Solutions aerator. Um, don't see, I haven't seen many of these. Um, when I was looking into doing some research on this, but I know it's essentially the same with some subtle differences between the Toro and the Xmark aerators, um, but let's get right into the video and let you guys check this thing out. is my I want to say 2011 2012 lawn solutions aerator with some subtle changes it's essentially the same as Toro and X marks um, Toro bought out lawn solutions um, back in 2012 and as you know Toro owns X mark um, so essentially with some subtle differences it is essentially the same a couple differences I notice I mean you've got newer engines on them um, this one works fine. They do have chain covers here on the Toro and X marks. Um, I actually kind of like that being open because it allow me to get in there and clean them a little better. Um, you've got all your grease fittings up under here. So they're pretty easy to get to. A lot easier to get to the grease fittings wise than the um, Toros and X marks from what I was seeing. Your transmissions are right under the engine, under a skid plate. I believe these bolts here are the chain tensioner. I could be wrong, um, which I probably am wrong, but um, you have, on this particular model, there's a Kawasaki FS481V, it's a 16 horsepower. Um, I believe they still put the 16s on them, I just don't know the model number of the engines they put on these now have the hydro reservoir back there behind the gas tank as well as the battery um, have your hydro fill here for I believe that is the hydraulic for the ram that controls the cylinder to drop the tines this is for the hydraulics um, to drive the motor up underneath here so back here on the foot pan, I will pull that off and show you guys up underneath. You have the switch here. This is what you step on to engage your tines. Um, and then up here on the control panel. Now one difference I do know is the X Mark and Toros go up to, I believe, 1200 PSI. This only goes to 600, but it will pick the back wheels up off the ground once you get around 450. You have your dial here to adjust your pressure. You want to keep it about 300 PSI for aeration. Little less if it's a little more wet, a little uh, more if it's dry. Your choke, your throttle cable, your key start, and hour meter. This only has 35.9 hours on it and it's nine years old, so that's pretty awesome. Um, this is where I believe the parking brake goes on the Toro and X Marks. I don't think these ever had a parking brake, so but it's got plenty of tie down location. Um, so I mean, it's essentially the same as the Toros and X Marks with a few subtle changes, and it's green. But I, overall, I am super impressed with this machine. Um, I aerated this back section or this back half of my backyard in about two and a half three minutes just trying it out so super stoked to have this added to the business this year um and so yeah let me pull that back cover off and i'll show you up underneath where the tines are all right guys so underneath here is where your tines are 
Uh, as you can tell, these are practically brand new tines. Um, again, 35 hours only on the machine. Um, I might need to put some air in the back tires because it looks like the tines are slightly touching the ground, but not a big deal. Um, I know the one main thing you want to do is definitely keep this area clean of all like these um, and this stuff in here, the sod um, stuff. Keep the area clean. It helps keep the wear down off of your chains, especially. Uh, keep the these bearings here greased. I believe I'm missing a grease fitting right there. Not a big deal. I can put a new one in there. Um, but you want to keep everything greased and keep it clean, and it'll definitely they'll definitely serve you for a while. So I'm super excited for this. Uh, ready for any spring aerations that come my way. I know most of the time people like to wait until the fall in our area But hey I'm super excited to have this. It's something I've wanted for a while and I'm so glad I finally got one so Thanks. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the quick little overview of the new aerator um, Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one